No, really, I love, love, love every dollar. But honestly, there are a few things that I wish they would do better or incorporate to make it the ultimate product. So in this video, I'm gonna give you five things that I think every dollar could do a little bit better. Hey guys, I'm Wendy Valencia, welcome back. And if you are new to my channel, make sure you click that big red subscribe button down below and then go click that bell notification icon so you will not miss a thing because this video is probably gonna irritate Dave. I'm kidding, I'm such a little channel, I'm quite sure I will not even be on Mr. Ramsey's radar, but if I am, understand I love 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 every dollar I use it every day and I will continue to use it even if none of these changes occur but let's go ahead and jump on in the first thing I think that every dollar could do a little better is they could actually incorporate a real snowball right now I have to use a program called undead it to track my debts and I'd really love it if they added a snowball section that like incorporated into the program, maybe even link up directly with your bank and import those debts directly from there and tally interest and all of that. That would be fantastic, but that's not my number one fix. Well, it's the number one in the list, but it's not my the one thing I really wish they would fix. Number two, I wish they would fix the funds. There's a little slidey tab that allows you to create a field as a fund, but it doesn't work very well. I have not successfully gotten it to work. And since I have lots and lots of sinking funds, I could really, really use it to work and even maybe link it up with my account so it, attract, it tracks the funds. But for now, I don't track my funds in every dollar. I track them through my bank. I use Capital One 360 for my funds and it allows you to name each seeking fund which I love by the way and if you want to join Capital One 360 there is a link down in the description box I do highly highly recommend it for sinking funds because I mean seriously you can title your savings account whatever your sinking fund is there's no confusion we just had to use our sinking fund a couple of days ago for PTO expenses for Melina's school and it was so easy I didn't have to like look on a spreadsheet to figure out which one was the the sinking fund for Melina's school expenses it actually said Melina's school sinking fund number three I really 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 would like a fixed column at the beginning of the month that does not change Currently, right now, you have have two columns, the planned column and the received column. The planned column is what your whole budget tallies on. So it, that is basically your income must meet your expenses in the planned column. And then in the received column, as the items clear your banking account or clear your budget, depending on how you're doing it, they go in the received column. Well, I wish they would create a third column that was the starting column because I would love to have the ability to track where I started in the month and where I ended up in the month. This I do actually do this because of my YouTube videos. I probably would not do this if I didn't do YouTube videos because I, I like to know where I start and where I end up and how close if I'm over or under. But if I didn't do videos, I doubt I would do this. And I, I'm doing it on a spreadsheet right now. And I think that would be an awesome addition to every dollar. Number four, I would love, love, love to see every dollar have a calendar view. Now, this may not necessarily work for my budget because we do have what we earn this month goes to pay next month's bills. So we're a full month ahead in our bill paying. But for a lot of people that are accruing money and spending it because they're not in a situation financially where they can do that, it can actually make budgeting a lot easier when you look at a calendar and you say, okay, this week on this Saturday, I am getting this amount of money and the following week I need to pay these bills. And then you could budget by week not just by month. Now, me personally, I budget by month and that's and that's the way I do it. But in the past, I have budgeted weekly. I've even budgeted bi-weekly when I was the only income earner. Before I get into number five, make sure you stay till the end because I'm gonna give you an additional bonus one. 
So number five is a huge, huge, huge pet peeve of mine. It irritates me every single time it happens and it happens frequently. Because I create my next month's budget at the beginning of the previous month, so it is September, so I created, on September 1st, I actually created October budget. I am frequently moving in between September and October, back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. And every once in a while, I actually will drag a budget item because my budgets always look so similar. I will drag a budget item into the following month. And sometimes it might be a day or two before I actually catch that I've done it. When you track an item, it comes in as new, in the new category, and it shows up. When you track it, it then moves to the tracked category, which is fine, but I have tracked it in the wrong location, so I wanna go and delete it. And when I go to delete it, it doesn't go back to the new category, it then moves to the deleted category. So then I go, oh crud, I put it in the wrong category, it's in the wrong month, I click undo, and instead of going to the new category, it goes back into the tracked category. Now, this is a huge thorn in my side because I, I do do this several times a month. I just want it, when I delete an item, I want it to go back into the new category or I want a way to retrack it in a different month. That, that would be a perfectly fine option if when I track the item, I could actually pull down a different month and retrack the item, like up here, that would be fantastic. If I could just retrack an item into a different month, that would be simple. So under the edit pop-up window, if you could add a pull down menu of a month so I can select a different month other than the one my screen is currently on, I would greatly appreciate it because that will make me a lot less crazy. Okay, it probably won't, but it'll sure make me happy. Ooh, I just have a bonus number seven. So bonus number six. Now this is something I'm pretty sure that Dave did on purpose. You can't fix any of your debts in advance of the month. So at the very end of the month, it will not let you touch your debts for the following month until the first day of the month. And I'm pretty sure Dave did that on purpose, but if I am working on my budget on the last day of the previous month, I want to be able to deal with my debts. And for whatever reason, my balances in every dollar don't meet up with my balances at the actual bank. And I'm not sure why, because, you know, I put it in the percentages and the interest rates and the dates and everything, but they never seem to, to marry up right. But it would be extremely helpful for me to be able to get into the next month's debt to update my debts maybe on the last day of the month or a couple of days before the last day of the month, but it is what it is and that one I can accept. So super secret number seven, why can't we have snowflakes? I wanna be able to see that if I get a bonus at work, maybe I do a thousand dollars in YouTube at once. I want to see how that will affect my snowball. And now this is obviously something I do in Undebit, which I love. And if you don't know Undebit, I did actually have done several videos on it. I really, I really, really like using it. It keeps me motivated. I log in several times a month just to, you know, update things. So I will put an eye in the sky right up here. And you can just click on that eye and check that video out. And again, Mr. Ramsey, if you're watching this, I do love your program. I obviously love it. I pay to use it. I pay to connect it to my bank account and I will probably continue using it forever because it is so easy to use. This is merely a few little things that I wish you would do. And if you could get on fixing number five, I'd really appreciate it because it's making me crazy. Subscribe and I will put up two videos I can hear Melly. She wants to come in. Okay. Stand right here and I'm going to say it like you have Cheetos all over you. We're eating Cheetos. It's Sunday Cheeto eating day. Okay. Now stay very still. Oh, you're so cute. Okay. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on Melly's big laughing face to subscribe. Click.
<laughs> we have two special guests today, and one of them is having a birthday. Boo! Today's my dolly's birthday! Happy birthday, Chloe! Thank you! And, and make sure you subscribe to this channel and give my dolly a happy birthday! A birthday thumbs up? Yeah! A big birthday thumbs up! Give Dolly a thumbs up. And give Dolly for her happy birthday a thumbs up. And make sure you send us some fan mail with candy in it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first of all, we don't even have a place that they can send us mail. And second of all, I don't know that I would let you eat candy <laughs> from strangers. Mm. I love you. What's budgeting? Um, about giving um, the money to the company. Giving some. Giving money to the company? Um, giving money to the bank. Well, hopefully it wouldn't be about giving money to the bank right now. It's about giving money to the bank. But in the future, it'll be about... I don't... Planning all our money. Oh. So every dollar has a name and we tell it where to go. If you are new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this one over here is one YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!